The death of the former Miss New Jersey turned journalist Kara McCullum can only be tempered by the gift of life that she has given. Kara was critically injured in a car accident earlier this month. After days in the hospital, her family later took her off life support and donated her organs and tissue. That decision to become an organ donor will save lives. The New Jersey Sharing Network to helped facilitate the donations. Elise Glennon is Vice President and Chief Administration, Administrative Officer of New Jersey Sharing Network. And Denise Peebles is a double lung recipient. I want to welcome you both. You both have such uh, stories to tell, and so many viewers, I hope they're paying close attention because this is something that every one of us can do mm -hmm. uh, to make uh, the life and not only the life of another person, but their entire families and, and their children and, and their children after those children much better. Elise, tell me a little bit about um, the message that uh, the Sharing Network wants folks to take from Kara McCullum. Yes. Well, you know, Kara in her life was so generous and so charitable, and she continued that in her passing by generously donating her organs to save someone else's life. And I'm so glad you just said that about uh, family and friends because uh, one organ donor can save the lives of up to eight people and enhance the lives of 50 others, but it extends well beyond that with their family and friends. Denise, you know, no one thinks they're going to be in need of, of the, of the life-saving organ of another person mm -hmm. until they reach that point in their medical history. Can you talk to, to us about when you came to realize you were wholly dependent on a stranger? Yes, uh, you know, like you said, I, when I got my driver's license, of course, first thing I did at 16, well, I want to be an organ donor, never thinking that I would be a recipient. And um, just the waiting process alone was just amazing. It was a journey. I learned a lot about myself. and. Uh, it's just, uh, it's, I call it a journey. I don't call it anything bad because it was a great outcome. Tell us about that outcome um, and tell us about, you know, why you were in need of a lung transplant. Well, in 2001, I was diagnosed with pulmonary fibrosis and it is a older white male smoker's disease and I've never smoked and I think the rest is pretty obvious. Um, and, uh, you know, I had a, I waited a while and finally was able to get a double lung transplant. And like you said, I kind of waited, um, dependent on someone else, you know. And it was, that part was a little eerie, but, you know, it, it, was, it was a great journey. And uh, to know that that person is still alive and well, it's just amazing. Elise, tell us what it takes for the Sharing Network to help people get the organs that save their lives. It is a very complicated process. Um, we have a very highly trained clinical team that works alongside hospital medical teams uh, to determine medical suitability. Um, we will work with the hospital teams and then work with the families of the patients um, to give them the opportunity to allow their loved one's life and legacy to live on through someone else. Not everyone uh, does what Denise did and signs uh, or checks that X on when they do their driver's license. Why is it that some people don't become organ donors? There are a variety of myths and misconceptions out there. It is a very, very personal decision, um, but we do encourage everyone to register to be a donor. And more importantly, talk to your family about your decision. Uh, if your family is presented at the hospital with that very tragic moment, um, it relieves the burden if they know what your decision was. The reason why we're talking about this is, uh, you know, the reason why we're talking about it today uh, is that the former Miss New Jersey, Kara McCollum, uh, was an organ donor. Yes. Do we know that she has saved lives? Do we know whose lives she may have saved? Um, I can't. Um, uh, the family has asked for privacy at this time, specifically around Kara's case. Um, but like I said earlier, one donor can save up to eight lives through organ donation. And Denise, you don't know who it was that donated the lungs that saved your lives. Tell me what you would say to that person. Oh, wow. I, I would just probably hug them really tight and tell them thank you uh, because it saved my life. It saved my family's life. See, it just doesn't touch me. It's my family and my friends who saw me go through the journey. So they did more than just save me. They saved my family and friends and people that know me. When you hear Denise talk about that, you really see the ripple effect uh, of this, this small token X that we mark on our driver's license application and how it can change things. You've got a 5K race coming up, Elise. Tell us about that and tell us about how people can join and, and help encourage this positive decision that people yeah. are making. 
One of the most amazing things about organ donation is that it is the ultimate gift. And at our 5K, thousands of people come together. Uh, people like Denise who have received a transplant and families of those who have passed and became organ donors. And it's an opportunity where the families come together uh, to meet one another and to celebrate, really celebrate life and celebrate organ donation. And the first race, April 24th in Paramus, Bergen County. Thank you both yes. so much for coming in to talk about this important subject. I hope a lot of people get the message out there. Thank you. Thank you yeah. so much.